چایی آها ما ایمهی دادا آکیوی for the loss of your man. He was sick too long anyway, Selfie. Then he can come back up here when he's 18. It's for the other two, they're part Mexican or Filipino or something, ain't they? Don't you even know? Just hurry up and get the hell out. I took care of Jack till the end. I think that counts for something. Gotta go, Molly. What about them? They got them in Santa Rosa, just like they got them on the res. For all I know, they got them on the goddamn moon. They would if we was there. I just don't... You just don't want it like it was before, right? Before what? Before we moved in with Jack. You running off, drunk, social worker taking us. To see? Shut up. And how the hell is some social worker going to find us when we don't even know where we're going ourselves? I told you where we was going. We're moving to Santa Rosa. Where? The homeless shelter? Thought we was going near your cousin. Where are we supposed to sleep? On the floor? Did you call her, Mom? I thought it might be better if we surprised her. See? The homeless shelter.
Hi. Hi, Anna. How you doing? <laughs> um, Jack died, you know. Oh, yeah, God. yeah. Uh, and I was um, thinking about moving back to town. <laughs> Come on in. Oh, thanks. Um, I got my kids with me. <laughs> Could you drop it off on your way? Thanks, Bill. Okay, the landlord's gonna drop off the key and you can move in any time. He said what the rent was? You know, I ain't got much money till I get a job. Oh, it'll be cheap, Mommy. Mm. Anna! The soap in the shower is about the size of a jelly bean, and there's none in the cabinet. Look under the sink. I just bought some. But I don't take a shower as soon as I walk in the door. This is clean here. She starts spitting nails. I don't clean this house to have it sink like the cannery. Lot of Indians still working at that cannery? Oh, only part-time during the apple season. They're hiring mostly Mexicans now. Want me to peel them off? Oh, please. What you got, Dad? Molly's boy is showing me them plastic men of his, and I'm getting him some cookies. Like I said, Bill's okay about waiting for the first check. Like anybody would rent this dump. Got a separate bedroom? Is this the only one? Yeah. Well, you can always put a, a fold-out in the living room. It's not gonna take much. Just a little paint, some curtains. And... Hey, I've got a couple of chairs and some lamps, some stuff in my garage you can use. We need a bed. We ain't got one now. Show this and I'll get you one. What do you think? You can move in tonight, Bill said. I like it, Mom. Go Snow White. Well, the place, at least. Yuck! Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> Look, it, it's just, uh, it ain't been run for a while. Nice. for dinner. I'm leaving right now. Oh, I know it's before dinner again tonight, Dad. Hey, sweetheart. I gotta go over to Uncle Chewy's. I promised to help him with something. Come on, honey. It's time to get ready. But we got company tonight. Don't you want to stay? Your mom and her cousin, they haven't seen each other in a few years. They could use some time to, to catch up. Good night, Mia. Good night, Daddy. Enjoy your crafting. Albert said he'd bring over that mattress and that other stuff when he gets home from work tomorrow. Oh, great. Sheldon? Sheldon, get out of Jean's chair and wash your hands now, okay? Justine. You think you could leave the TV for a minute to make sure he gets them clean? Let's go. Wait, I'm gonna get my toys. John. Can't wait till tomorrow. 400 guys. What do you mean? Well, you said there's 800 kids in the high school, right? Half of them gotta be guys. 
And I'm just going to walk up and down those halls, picking them out. You and you. You're something, don't you? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I don't know what it's like on the res. But around here, people think you're giving them attitude. Like you think you're cool. They're going to kick your ass. Well, I can take care of myself. Sheldon! Sheldon! Hey. I'm coming. I was just looking out for you. Not putting you down. Okay. Almost got that Angelica root burned down to his fingers. What's it for? Thinks that'll make things go good. Oh, who's that? I'll finish these. Okay, thanks. All right, Mom, I got it. <laughs> Gangsta girl. Hi. Hi, neighbor. Hi. So you ditched the wheels? No, let them show, that's all. Must be feeling better, huh? I wish. Oh, don't you listen to her, she's much stronger. I can see that. So you got your homework ready? I got a faculty meeting before my first class tomorrow. I can give it to your teacher then. Yeah, it's ready. There's just one quick thing here I gotta show you. Yeah, yeah, you always got one quick thing. What is All that? right, then, two quick things. Yeah, what are they? <laughs> well, Mr. Noonan, I didn't finish the whole book yet, so I only wrote about the first seven chapters. Okay, that's one. What's the other? Well, the book sucks. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're feeling better. Bye. Bye, Susan. Bye, Bye. <laughs> you go get cleaned up for supper. We'll talk later. Mom, you gotta trim Sheldon's mouth. I couldn't get him clean. She said she was gonna cut my fingers off. I am if you don't shut up. Molly, what's wrong? That was Stephen. I, thought I don't want to talk about it. But I Anna. I don't want to talk about it, okay? What do you think's wrong with Jean? She has cancer, brain tumor or something. She's weird. How do you know? She just is. I mean about the cancer. How do you know she's got it? Because I asked her what was wrong with her. gonna die what do you think stupid you get cancer you die I thought you already left for the clinic. Mm-mm. No, I work 11 to 7 this week. Raymond, what is it about the concept of knocking that you don't get? <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Actually, I just came in to tell you that I will not be driving to school with you today. Why not? Well, I'm going over to Anthony's house. He just got the Master of Baseball video game for his birthday, so I'm going to go check it out. All right. See you later. Hey, don't forget to... Eat something. Good morning. Good morning. Are you like that at 15? Probably. Except if I left the house an hour before school, it wouldn't have been to check out a video game. I know. It was to meet one of your 5,000 girlfriends, right? Oh, 10,000. Are you jealous? Uh-uh. I'm just glad Raymond's still into sports and video games. He seems too young. Did you feel that? She just kicked you. <sighs> no. Ten weeks is too early, Stephen. Too early for kicking. How do you know? Because. Yeah, I know. Well. It's the first time you've been pregnant. Well, for one, I'm a nurse, and I ought to know. Mm. How do you know it's a she? It's a female. Well, mm. 
Again, a thesis is not a gusher of feeling, nor is it a mere recitation of the obvious. It is a provocative statement to be developed. Saved by the bell. Okay, so you all know what a thesis is. I'll expect 30 perfect papers by tomorrow. Homework is to do an original thesis, one page in length on any subject. Got it? Check her out, man. She's so fun. Don't sound like a thesis. It's more like a gusher of feeling or a recitation of the obvious. Okay, Dickhead, you're so smart, how am I going to meet her? She lives in Grand, don't she? Yeah. Then go to her crib, man. Oh, what? And, like, welcome her to the neighborhood? No, 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 no. Like, make some excuse. Pretend like you lost your dog or something. Tell it to weed her. people in the lobby waiting to move in. It's only my first day, so I'm still getting used to things. Right. You like that on your hundredth day. I should have known. What'd you say? I said I should have known there'd be problems when I hired you. You've got no right to judge me. You crazy. Don't go around grabbing people, lady. Give back that uniform and get out now. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Sheldon, put it back. It's a water gun. Please. Put it back. I want a bag to fill it with freezing water and squirt me. Or boiling water. Said no. For mom's party. Aren't they pretty? Dean, I won't have enough money. I counted everything already. Well, we're not having tuna tonight. It's for tomorrow. Lunch, sandwiches, tuna sandwiches. Gross. No, I hate tuna sandwiches. Since when? I hate tuna sandwiches, too. That'll be $12.50. Thank you. Justine. Who? Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi, dear. I picked up your manure, Auntie. You ready to start stinking up the neighborhood? Hi. <laughs> In the back. Did you get that letter today? What letter? From some damn real estate man. He said he sent a letter to each of us water plates. Well, I guess I got one. I haven't been home to check the mail. Money for bones, Steven. That's what he wants to give us. Money for our bones. Wash your hands first. Oh, yeah. Only thing we got left and this man wants to buy it. He wants to buy what, is he? The old cemetery. Nothing changes with them whites. Nothing. All we got to call our own is a few graves. And some man wants to move them. I raise you. You know what's right. We leave the dead alone. Most of the tribe isn't going to care about the cemetery. Of course not. They'll want a thousand dollars he's offering. We could call a meeting. You think anybody would come? Don't know till we try. Hi, Dana. Hi. Jean with the doctor? Yeah, he's been examining her for half an hour. It ain't good news, I can tell. Maybe not. Dr. Parker's always been very careful, you know that. Honey. Dear, 
What's wrong? I was just about to call you in. I'm not gonna do it. What? Go back from our chemo. It makes me so sick. I might as well die anyway. You gotta do it, Jane. Why? I'm not getting any better. Oh, baby. <laughs> It'll help soon. I know. Okay? I just wanted to go away, Mom. Anna, it's Steven. I'm fine. You know, I just, I saw Albert. He was helping somebody move in down the street. Was that Molly? The store around the corner? It's got everything, Mom. And I didn't have to spend more than what you gave me. You guys did a good job. Really. It's nice. First day at work. Two layers. It's got frosting in the middle. Sheldon helped make the frosting. Looks good. I gotta go. I'll be back later. I told you, Alice, she doesn't give a fuck about what we do for her. Next time you get any big ideas like this, just do it yourself. Good. 
I just wish you guys didn't have to go diving for it out there. Well, if the water's not bad, down at Point Arena. What did I read in the paper just two months ago? Man drowned while diving for abalone at Point Arena. Rena, he had a heart attack. He was like a hundred years old. Oh, Stephen, did you get one of those letters? You mean about the cemetery? Yeah. Yeah. All I heard at work today was what the water place were going to buy with their thousand dollars. They're going to buy a whole lot of nothing because we're not going to let that happen. Why does this guy want to move dead bodies anyway? He owns all the land around the cemetery and it's in his way. He wants to turn the whole thing into home sites, put a lake right where the graves are. I'll get it. Why does the phone ring every time we sit down to eat? Raymond? I'll be right back. Tell whoever it is you'll call okay. him back. Do you think Raymond still likes him around here? What do you mean here? Right now. You know, the neighborhood. And the gangs have gotten a lot worse since we've been here. It's almost like they're taking over. It might be time for us to sell the place and get out. Now? Yeah. Let's just do it. Wait. Am I hearing this right? I just wanted you out of this neighborhood for, I don't know how many years, and all of a sudden you're saying, let's just do it? Why not? Well, for one, I'm pregnant. I know, but what if we went ahead and put the house on the market anyway and started looking? Just, you never know, something might fall into place. That makes sense, doesn't it? No, Stephen. We have the baby, I take some time off. We find a great house, sell this one, move. That makes sense. Yeah, it was, it was just an idea. Sheldon, get out of the tub now and dry off. Then you can finish your cake. Okay. I need my jacket. Zero in, Alice. This is my friend Dennis, Dennis Biggs. Would you like a piece of cake? No. <laughs> She's out there. We don't want no cake, Al. We're going for a walk. Later, Al. Who was here? Nobody. It was that black guy. Hush up and dry off. Liar. She was talking to him in the store. I Stop. Sheldon, I said dry off. Liar, liar, liar. Sheldon. Liar, liar, liar. Sheldon! Please, I'm doing wrong. Sheldon, you don't talk to me like that, okay? I don't like it here. I want my dad back. I want to go home. We'll get a TV. That'll make things go on. <laughs> Louise, wasn't it? No, I'm talking about her sister Mary, Mary Lambert. Oh, yeah. I heard she got married. Right. Yeah. Remember her mother? Old lady with the one tooth? Mary came home one night and found her sucking face with the new husband, both drunk, just going at it. <laughs> Whoa. Old lady said she wanted to stop, except her damn tooth was getting loose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I ain't heard <laughs> nothing them Lambert sisters. God, since the first time you left. <laughs> A lot of years ago, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always wondered why you went away back then. You know, so quick. I guess I figured it out, though. I mean, seeing you and Steven. We were all so close back then. Next thing I know, you just disappeared. Picked up. Picked up and what? You just gotta know, don't you? It's always been like that. Little Miss Clean, Little Miss Perfect. Always hiding what's going on in your own life, but wanting to know what's going on in everybody else's. 
Molly. No, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. I got knocked up with Stephen Tom's baby, and yes, her name is Justine. Happy now? Look, just do me a favor, will you? Justine don't know about it. And I don't want her to. Why should she? Steve never wanted her in the first place. As soon as we get to the uh, cannery, I'm gonna introduce you right away to the boss. I mean, they need people real bad, 4011. That's cool, Dad. Grandma would be happy. Giving her a name, at least. Giving them all names. Make it harder for some folks to let some thief come in here and turn this place into a lake. You know, I never knew where my mama was buried exactly. I was too little. I was too little when she died. Then when he was a teenager, he was too busy coming down here skinny dipping. Skinny dipping? That? Yeah, I seen you. You and your friends. What were you doing watching? I came down here to pray. And there you were, naked as can be, just hooping and hollering the whole bunch of you. Girls, too. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking like that for? Ain't nothing I ain't seen before. Been changing your diaper since you were six months old. Good place. Me and my husband, we used to go down there by the river. Go at it. Nature, birds, water. We ought to try it sometime. Oh, God. I meet him in it and bury him in it. I'm glad we're making this place nice. I like it here. Yeah? Well, don't get too used to it. As soon as I get some money, we're out of here. Why? I mean, like, we got a family now. With Auntie and Jean and old uncle. They even said we got another relative who lives on Grand, who lives in that house with all the flowers in front. They say she's an Indian doctor. Don't listen to that old-time Indian doctor shit. Look what it did for Sheldon's father. Ain't got a father no more. Yeah, honey, I know. That's what I'm talking about. You still got us, Toad. One good thing, though. They got three shifts running at the cannery. Well, see, Mom, there is something good going on around here. Why we gotta move? Because of certain people. We got a goddamn gang living across the street, practically. God knows what kind of trouble Justine will get herself into once she starts hanging around with those blacks and Mexicans. Mom, not everyone could be Indian. Yeah, well, we're leaving as soon as we can, so don't even bother talking about it. Goddamn. Forgot I took it. Wow. Only thing of Jack's I got away with. Loaded, too. You ain't gonna keep that around here, are you? A loaded gun? I'll put it in the safe place, Alice. Relax. God, you're gonna give yourself an ulcer.
You all right? Sorry. For what? That you come in here to keep from getting hurt? Come on and sit yourself. We'll put your TV in the back. You gotta watch them boys. The Strata Brothers. You think they give it a rest for a day, huh? Last night they were shooting just down the street. Best not to be walking down grand and broad daylight with a TV. Me, they don't bother. Scared. That's why they run. Think I'm a witch. Always have. Do you think I'm a witch? In the old days, Indians were suspicious of strangers. Wouldn't take food from people they didn't know. People they suspected was poisoners. I don't think you're a witch. Old uncle says you're a singer. You can heal people. We had a singing doctor on the reservation. You're Molly's girl. Yes. Well, we're all cousins. You like it? It's pretty. Go ahead. Pick it up. Meadow lark and mallard duck feathers. Nobody wants to weave anymore. Nobody's got the patience. In the old days, we done everything with baskets. Cook, pack food. Some had power. My baskets has power. They go with my songs. How do you start? Well, it's hard, even for me sometimes. Brother, I bring home a TV. Take it. Take it. Take it with you. Your spirit is attracted to it. Your spirit is attracted to baskets. This goes with it. Angelica Ruth. Keep it near you. And burn it when you're scared. It'll keep you safe. Make sure he takes one every six hours until they're finished. Okay? Thank you. Come on, Elvie, you're next. Oh. Do you sign in, sir? No need to, nurse. I'm beyond help. <laughs> you got time for a cup of coffee? Uh, I wish I could. Yeah. I gotta go. Mm, if I'm not home by seven, you guys go ahead and have dinner without me, okay? All right. It's just be one of those days. <laughs> Mr. Tom, how you doing? I'm doing fine, man. How you doing? Good. You don't remember me. <sighs> You're one of the Potter boys, right? Yeah, Eric. Yeah. This is my wife, Maria. Hi. This is my boy, Trevor. Trevor, how you doing? Good to meet you. That's about the letter, ain't it? You're going to ask him not to take the thousand dollars? I don't know if Eric's told you, but a lot of his people are buried in that ground. I just can't see letting somebody take it away because they're willing to pay us a couple bucks. Maybe money don't mean much to you, Mr. Tom, because you already got it. Come on, Brad.
and shit. He's talking about, no. can he get some dope? Motherfucker had a bag of quarters, man. Motherfucker, what was that? I live right up the street. Hi, Raymond Tom. I'm in your English class. My English class? Yeah. But I, I guess I just wanted to say hi. What's up, Tom? What's up, Tom? Hey, Dennis. Come on in, Tom. Come on in. Mr. Baseball, gonna win us another championship next season or what? Well, if my shoulder holds out, I threw it out last season. Yeah, you did some serious pitching last game, man. Thanks, man. What up? So, what y'all up to? Just chilling, man, but uh, my girl is about to do a dance for us. Ain't that right, baby? You know what, motherfucker? This ain't none of your business, partner. You look too light in the ass to be giving me orders. Yo, D, you better check this motherfucker before I knock his ass out. Whoa, you should like... Oh. Oh. Didn't hurt your shoulder, did you? I got money on the next game, bitch. Now you get your motherfucking ass out of here and be a good little boy. D. Go get this motherfucker before I knock his ass out again. Fuck you then, love. Fuck. Try to help somebody. Hey. You alright? Yeah. You too? Yeah. Does the clock have two hands? <laughs> He got two hands, that means it's five o'clock. Hey, is your mom's coming home? Uh, yeah, real soon. That means we need to be breaking out this motherfucker. Hey. What's up, love? Let's get the fuck on out of here, man. All right, man, hold on, sir. if you get me a bike. Don't even try it, Toad. Not this time. Put it on, Colby, please. Mm -hmm. Come on, you got 
gotta use a rubber, I told you. Feels better this way, baby. I don't care. Don't play me like that. I wanna do call it, but you got it. No, no, look. All I gotta do is look out for you. I'm the man around this motherfucker. I own this town. You know what I'm saying? And you're gonna be my lady. See how it's shaped? Why it's called a canoe basket? This design we call the ant trail. That's for your basket, the one you started. Do you know the spider? She taught us to weave. There was a girl one time, and her grandma was real sick. That old woman couldn't even make it to the creek, and she needed water. Then that girl started crying. The spider heard her. She said, I'll teach you to weave. I'll teach you to weave a basket so tight you can carry water in it. That's how it started, these baskets. That girl started to weave. And that's why we don't forget the spider. We love her just like that little girl loved her grandmother. <laughs> Still the best burger in town, huh? Yeah. Jack used to take me here sometimes when we had to come down off the res. Albert ain't taken me nowhere since God knows when. Hey, this is really a treat. You didn't have to. After everything you've done for me and my kids, nothing. Nah. Well, they're good kids. Sometimes. That Alice. I damn near killed her. She took out of the house money and bought a TV, for God's sakes. A new one? Nah, cheap thing from the Goodwill. I had a good mind to take it right back. <laughs> but you didn't. No, because she was right. It didn't cost practically nothing. Mm -hmm. I do love my kids, you know? Just, I'm just so goddamn hateful sometimes. 
I'm always thinking the worst. Why is that? I don't know. Indians. We're Indians, Molly. So much shit happens to us in our lives, we get used to it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Forget how to feel good. Maybe never knew how. I mean, that's why we expect the worst. Huh? It's pretty. Yeah, come on. Oh. Come on. Molly. <laughs> uh, I can't afford it, though. Oh, come on, it's on sale. And you have a job now. I don't know. Don't make people look fat. No, it's beautiful. I mean, look at yourself. until I come in and get you, all right? Justine, tell them your story. Tell them you didn't mean to do it. Justine, don't go out there. Mama will be home soon. you're doing? I was just driving down the street. You got no right. Now get the fuck out of here. It's those on that. They come right over and start bothering these kids. They think they're Mexicans. They're part of the Estrada game. What about the gun? Somebody reported one of these girls had a gun. Not around here. You know anything about a gun? No. We only heard a shot. That's all. I don't know. Seems to happen pretty regular around here. You all sure about that? Officer, it's this neighborhood. I mean, my cousin just moved here, and look where she ends up. Between the Arnett gang across the street and the Estradas, three doors down. 